Far 18? Yes! What? Hello there, minions! It's so easy. Welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. Today I'm gonna commentate over a gameplay that I had. You just heard me get excited. Uh, this was a couple weekends ago, I think, when they brought back some of the Modern Warfare 2 maps into Modern Warfare 3, which I was pleasantly surprised to see Farm 18, one of the best Modern Warfare 3, or Modern Warfare 2 maps in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, but I joined this game in progress with my team losing by like double, like 100 to 50. And in this game, I am running a G36, whatever that gun is called, but the marksman rifle variant of it, and a shotgun. So a, a shotgun is a great tool for Farm 18 in this inner building. And I was working on challenges for the marksman rifle, uh, ranking it up. And so it's, you know, okay for the longer distances, but in my opinion, in general, marksman rifles in this game are pretty garbage pretty underpowered compared to sniper rifles, which can one-hit kill uh, at longer range, or assault rifles, which are just more versatile and forgiving. Um, <laughs> so oh my god. Absolutely boned uh, on that shotgun kill there, but I just want to kind of talk to you guys about this game. It's, it ended up being a good game for me, so you guys hopefully will enjoy the gameplay, but I also wanted to use it as an opportunity to talk about how I'm feeling about Modern Warfare 3 still, kind of just tag in with you guys, update. Um, talk to you about what I'm enjoying about the game and, and kind of things that I'm gravitating to. One thing I do want to make sure that I call out in this gameplay is the thermal optic that I use on this marksman rifle is one of my all-time favorite optics and definitely one of my favorite optics in this game for anything kind of medium range and further. Uh, and this, actually this... Uh, 870 shotgun uh, is also fantastic at, at close range. Um, shotguns in this game at anything beyond pretty much point blank range aren't that great. Uh, but the one hit kill potential is just massive. Keep distracting myself. Holy shit balls. <gasps> As I got surprised by the Diablo queen there. Um, but yeah, the, the thermal optic. Uh, most of the thermal optics in this game, as far as I'm concerned, are trash. But this orange one, there's a there's a hollow therm variant that's just a basically an EOTech, basically just a holographic sight with this thermal optic on it, which is good uh, for close to medium range. And then this hybrid thermal optic, which is better for medium to long range, which is to say I pretty much always flip up the thermal uh, hybrid on this. It's got higher magnification and that awesome glowing orange outline that you get with this, but um, if you haven't tried out these orange thermal optics, give them a try. Like I said, I, all the other thermal optics I've tried are pretty much garbage. The visibility on them is terrible, uh, but especially with like sniper rifles. Uh, I even like this on long, uh, on LMGs at longer range. Anything that kind of requires a reminder that you need a little bit more precision, that you need to kind of aim for chest and head. I really love this thermal optic. And plus, situations like that, where there's smoke, uh, it's just, really love this optic. So, I'm not sure exactly what happened with matchmaking in this game, but uh, getting dropped into a game that was in progress, that my team was losing pretty badly, we managed to turn it around uh, pretty, pretty well um, here. I like being... I got surprised by my teammate. I actually like being aggressive with the shotguns in this map. Mainly because, especially when you're running with like a marksman rifle, trying to sit up there after I miss those first few shots, like here you'll see it again, I miss some shots, and rather than trying to pick people off and they know where I am, I'm going to try and get in close to the shotgun and get those one-hit kills. It's just too easy to get to lose a fight when someone's got an assault rifle and you've got a marksman rifle, but... Um, as this guy is I run around trying to Boy, knife a little bit. Managed to get a swarm. I love the swarm kill streak. It you don't get it often, or at least I don't in the lobbies that I get put in. But when it comes in, man, it is insane, as you're about to see here. Look at that feed. Six <laughs> X multi kill. Uh, although as with the normal mosquito, you do have issues like this where hey there's a guy here, I'll finish him off. Boom! Killed by my own swarm. 
So beware the swarm uh, when it's your own. I've also been enjoying the AC-130 kill streak. In Modern Warfare 2, the AC-130 kill streak felt absolutely useless. It seems like it was in the game for 10 seconds, and you could hardly kill anyone with it. In Modern Warfare 3, I think they made it harder to get. I think it's one of the higher uh, streaks, even than normal. It's usually one of the highest streaks anyway. Uh, but it seems much more effective when you earn it. Uh, in this game, it actually is quite fun to use. I do kind of miss the uh, big 105 millimeter howitzer as the primary. Now it uses essentially a uh, guided missile, which has a big blast radius and is also kind of fun to use, but I really kind of prefer the fire and forget of the 105. Um, so maybe it's kind of a balancing thing with that guided missile where you can't just dump a big old 105 shell and then continue on with your 40 millimeter, but holy shit balls. <laughs> As you can see me being impressed with myself, the amount of devastation I managed to get through just getting a couple of those higher end kill streaks uh, on a honestly, one, like I said, one of my favorite Modern Warfare 2 maps. One of the very, very few good maps from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, <laughs> not the best double back there, but. As the, this match kind of is drawing to an end, we've pulled it back for a relatively convincing victory considering how much we were behind. What do you guys think of Modern Warfare 3 right now? How are you guys enjoying the weapons, the maps, the gameplay? I gotta say, this has become my favorite Call of Duty of all time, even beating out Modern Warfare 2019, which has been my favorite since it came out, but it's just a lot of fun. I've been finding myself coming back into it and playing quite a bit. What about you guys? You've been enjoying Modern Warfare 3? You guys have been playing other stuff? You've been playing Helldivers? What are you guys up to? If you guys enjoyed this video, got all the way to the end. Probably enjoyed it enough to give me a like. Almost bottom of the team, 44 and 5, without getting those caps. Uh, if you don't like my lack of team play and objective play on this map, you can leave me a dislike. Subscribe if you want more good stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.